while. But if we start with the CR&D call, it's basically focused on the food processing and manufacturing industry with a view to reducing <coughs> food chain waste. Um, it's estimated that, that up to 40% of all food is wasted in, in, in Western Europe. And a, a significant chunk of that happens within the manufacturing process. But it's also a very big industry, as you're probably well aware. You don't need me to tell you that food manufacturing is, is, is probably the largest manufacturing sector in the UK. Um, significant turnover, massive employer, a lot of businesses, some of the very innovative businesses, um, ranging from large multinationals down to sort of small startups. It's a fairly um, R&D intensive industry already, um, effectively a billion pounds a year committed to R&D in the food sector, but a lot of that is based around product development and not a great deal, as far as we can see, around process development and process efficiency. And certainly, um, waste arising from, um, from the food chain between the farm gate and the household is significant. It's about 18 and a half million tonnes. And within that, okay, a large amount of that waste is generated in the household, but equally there's a fair, fairly significant amount in the manufacturing and distribution sector, and also, but also um, interventions at the manufacturing and distribution level may well have a significant impact on this waste figure in the home. So this is one of the one of the main areas we wanted to look at, but also reducing energy usage within within the food manufacturing sector. Um, the total figure for, for um, energy and carbon dioxide. Um, emissions as a, as a proxy for, for energy usage is significant. Again, a big chunk of that before the farm gate, a lot of it in enteric methane emissions and nitrous oxide, but there's a significant chunk again of, of CO2 emissions um, that are associated with the manufacturing process. And that is, that's true carbon dioxide, but that, 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 that's, a lot of that's down to energy intensity within that process. And so, again, these are one areas that we want to concentrate on with, with regard to improving efficiency and consequently reducing the environmental impact of what we do. So what's in scope for this call? Basically, anything that you can think of that will improve the, um, the efficiency of food manufacturing, uh, distribution, and retail. Um, it needs to be led by, um, a, 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 or any consortium bid needs to be led by a, a, a commercial um, business or organization that is, whose primary business is downstream of the farm gate. This is very much a, 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 a whilst the last two calls have been focused on um, have been focused on primary production, this is very much looking at a, a processing and uh, manufacture, food processing and manufacture. But there are a whole raft of areas in there, and I'm not going to read them out to you, you can see them easily for yourself, that would be uh, that would be within scope. That's not an exhausted or exhaustive or prescriptive list. Um, but uh, the the, the scope for, for an innovative and, and original idea is, is, is very wide within this. So we, we would encourage um, uh, as much uh, creative thinking as possible. So just quickly uh, on this one, it is a, it, it's a collaborative research and development call. It's a two-stage application process. Callum will go through the, the nuts and bolts of that process um, in a little while when I'm finished. Um, but it will effectively open at the, in the middle of June. The, the application process runs in two stages and will take essentially 19 weeks to, to completion um, to the point at which we will be able to inform the, uh, the, the successful consortia. Um, so we should be announcing the winners sometime in October, November.